Time for the highlights, round two, Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. It's the Rockstar Energy Drink, Freestone National in Wortham, Texas. Lots of heat, lots of humidity, lots of fans, lots of motocross superstars ready to do battle. This championship is still wide open as Chad Reed and Ryan Dungey come into it tied atop the series points lead, but other riders will be a factor in the first moto, including a surprise hole shot from Lucas Oil Troy and Lee Honda's Christian Craig, who would lead early. And then another surprise right behind him. Christophe Porcel, the Frenchman in the Moto Concept Yamaha, would pass Chad Reed and move up to the number two position as Reed and Dungey battled it out for second and third. Uh, Porcel's charge to the front was short lived. He would quickly drop back. Reed and Dungey would get him back. And then Dungey and the rock star Makita Suzuki would challenge the 2 2 Motorsports Bell Ray Honda of Reed. Great battle for second. But Reed would shake Dungey off, keep charging, pass Craig to take the Moto win with Dungey and Ryan Villapoto second and third. Moto number two, another bad start for Villapoto. Scratch him for contention in this one. It's rock star Makita Suzuki's Brett Metcalf out front. Dungey soon makes the pass on his teammate, tries to take off. But he's got Reed on his back tire, and it looks like we're set, we're set for a showdown in Moto 2 for the overall. But then Reed goes down, handing Dungey a big lead. Foregone conclusion. Dungey's going to win this one. He's cruising. He has a big lead. He's saving energy in a rough racetrack until his bike coast to a stop. Did not finish due to mechanical failures. Heartbreak for Dungey. Reed is going to inherit the Moto victory and the second straight overall, as well as a big points lead. Davey Millsaps and the Muscle Milk Toyota JGR Yamaha would cruise to second overall via 4-2 scores coming through the pack. Third overall, Villapoto. A couple of bad starts today. RV wants to be up front. But so far, no stopping Chad Reed in this series. Let's switch to the 250 class. Points leader coming into this one is Southern California's Blake Baggett, who dominated round one at Hangtown. And he looked to turn the trick here in moto number one at Freestone. Off the start, it's going to be the Geico Power Sports Honda of Justin Barsha getting the lead, but he would crash in the third turn and take Red Bull KTM's Marvin Muscan down with him, and that would put Baggett into the number one spot. It looked like deja vu from Hangtown until Baggett went down, handing the lead over to his teammate of the Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki, Dean Wilson. Wilson, always fast here in Texas, would cruise to a strong moto victory over his teammate, Tyler Rattray. And never giving up, Texas's own DNA Shred Stick Star Racing Yamaha rider, Kyle Cunningham, who would take third behind Rattray and the winner, Wilson. Wilson's strong, he's rested, he's ready for moto number two. But Marsha would grab yet another hole shot. And this time he would not go down. He would lead early until Wilson in second reeled him in, tries for a pass, they tangle, Wilson goes down, Barsha's handed a big lead. Rattray looking to take advantage. Late in the moto, he would track down Barsha. Wilson was working his way toward the front of the pack to try to salvage the overall. Rattray was trying to get around Barsha to try to stop Wilson's charge. In the end, Rattray would pass Barsha with two laps to go, and that moto win would give him the overall win, edging out his teammate Wilson. After another bad moto for Baggett, it's Wilson and Rattray battling for the series points lead. Third overall, Kyle Cunningham. Round two of the Buttercycle Superstore Women's Class also in action in Texas. An upset after round one, Jessica Patterson runs into the back of a stalled Ashley Filek in Moto 1, so last week's winner is down and out. She'll finish 13th in the first Moto. Filek striking back to take a Moto win. Patterson win Moto 2, but Filek would hold on for second and win the overall and take over the series points lead. That's it. A weekend off. We'll be back at High Point Raceway for the Rockstar Energy High Point National in Pennsylvania in two weeks. Thanks for watching.